Today I wanted to put together a Bard class for you guys. I've really been enjoying it in this uh, latest playtest. I wanted to get a guide together here for you guys on this new class. Uh, it's a really interesting way to play the game with uh, your instruments, your musical talent and stuff. And I've been playing the Bard extensively now on the first uh, day of the playtest. I've gotten a lot of good experience with it, so I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it and give a guide to anybody interested in playing the Bard class and uh, wanting to know how to play it uh, in the most effective ways possible. So I'm going to start with the character creation here. We can see a um, little class info here talking about moving melodies, fantastic tales, get out of the stickiest situations, uncanny ability to mysteriously control the mood of crowds and creatures. Weapon of choice for peer, crowd control, good swordsman, loud is the con here. Definitely a good way to describe the bard. The bard is all about moving quickly, trying to manipulate your situation, whether that be NPCs or other players. And uh, just good spacing, and rapier is a good item, or weapon rather, for spacing and uh, poking out your opponent and not uh, letting them get too close to you while also maintaining good uh, damage. So it's kind of interesting, that rapier poking, you know, we're used to seeing that from rogues. Uh, bards can do that as well. Uh, not quite as fast as a rogue, of course, but uh, interesting little tidbit there for them. So moving on, I already have a character, so we'll just go to my character here. Let's talk about the class and the perks and skills. So uh, I'll just go over in order of what I think is the most useful. If you're starting for a bard level one, I definitely recommend the Wanderer's Luck. So it increases your chance of finding those high quality items and opening treasure chests. Very good to have in the early game. Pretty obvious here. You know, we find more greens, blues, purples, so on. Very obviously good in the early game when you have nothing and you want to keep increasing your luck and find things. Frankly, I think it's a good uh, skill to have all throughout. Just remember, you have to be the one opening those chests. So it can be a bit annoying if you're in a team game and people are opening all the chests. But, uh, you know, just go your own way and find those chests and you'll be fine. But overall, really good perk to have. Uh, next, I do Lore Mastery. So this just increases your interaction speed. And this is good for the bard. You want to be fast. You want to get in and out places quickly, open and closing doors. You know, you don't want to get caught easily. So this is something that synergizes well with that. Next up, I was using uh, Rapier Mastery. Now, this, of course, only matters if you actually take this weapon. Bard can use other weapons like Dagger, Flecheon, I think there's a few others, but the Rapier is definitely the best option for the Bard. So it increases your damage by three. Not too much, but, uh, of course, you get that 5% interaction speed. You know, you're combining it with the uh, Lore Mastery, 30% interaction speed. That's pretty dang fast that you're going to be opening up chests and opening and closing doors. Still don't think it's quite as fast as the Rogue, but uh, it's very fast for somebody that's also a bit of a spellcaster too, so that's an interesting thing to have, plays well into the synergy of the class. I haven't quite got level 15 yet, but uh, we can see the last two here, and they, oh, they aren't that great, so there's Melodic Protection. Um, increases your physical damage reduction by 15% when you're playing a song. Now, there could be some usefulness to this. Um, some songs take quite a long time to cast, as we'll see later when we dive into gameplay. But um, for the most part, if you're a skilled bard, you should know how to kite your enemies and keep moving so they don't hit you. Or using objects and cover to your advantage. Like, you can play songs and have them affect enemies through, through walls. So, let me say that again. You can play your song behind a closed door, behind a wall, behind cover, and it will affect enemies on the other side as well as other players if you use certain kinds of songs. So if you're using your cover correctly, if you're using your movement correctly, you don't need that damage reduction. The one thing I will say, though, is against ranged champions, or not champions, uh, enemies, uh, with arrows, it can be a bit difficult to use the spacing correctly because they're very far away, and the song only songs that you play only have a certain range to them, so you have to kind of close the gap. So... In that sense, this could be useful if you're getting hit by a bunch of arrows. That's the one thing I found difficult is trying to get in range of those ranged enemies. So it could be useful. Um, I think it could be the level 15 slot, uh, especially if you're playing solo. Now, if we go to War Song here, when you have a successful song, performance they call it here, weapon attack power for nearby allies is increased by uh, 3 for 6 seconds. Don't know if this affects you as well, but uh, certainly the allies there are obviously useful for team fights however i will caution and say that as a bard i found that there wasn't a lot of opportunities to play useful songs when you're being rushed down by like you know fighters and barbarians so i didn't find this to be the most useful compared to the other ones i found it more useful for it to be like kind of a pokey dps rapier kind of player as opposed to spamming songs because i'll be honest uh 
this class is not as useful as a cleric when it comes to buffing your teammates or healing or anything like that. Bard isn't really about that. It's more about the NPC manipulation that they shine at. Um, but moving on, well, actually, I'll, I'll just end this and say that, like, if you're in a team game, uh, you know, level 15 slot, War Song makes a lot of sense. If you're solo, Melodic Protection, I would take. Um, obviously, if you don't have a Rapier, then don't ever use this. If you're going to use a different weapon, this could be swapped out. But overall, I think these two are good core ones to have that just uh, round out the kit pretty well. So we have Encore here for the skills, moving into that now. So the next song's played automatically without any input. This is not necessarily needed because, uh, you know, obviously if you play your songs well, you can always get it off correctly. This is just a nice thing to have if you're multitasking a lot and you need to um, get that song off guaranteed when you have a lot of things going on. I think if you're a newer Bard player, definitely take this. This will help you understand the song playing better and get more usefulness. But as you become more experienced, you might not need this ability. And this moves into Dissonance here. Um, dissonance is basically just a silence. It stops people from casting spells for three seconds. So... This could be useful, of course, against uh, wizards, clerics, uh, you know, skeleton mages. Definitely more useful, I think, in team games than the goblin caves and solos. Um, because you're bound to run into a lot more clerics or wizards when you're in those team games. You hear people buffing. Give them a quick silence. You know, it's only three seconds, so it's not like the most useful thing. But um, it can be helpful if you're in a quick fight and you need to silence them. So, um... I haven't tested this yet, but this might be useful against other classes with their skills. Um, like, for example, a fighter casting second win. I wonder if you cast this, it stops their second win. That'd be very useful. Definitely something to try. So I think this is the better skill to take. But uh, Encore, I would just say, is good for new players. So we'll swap on the, the dissonance here. And then there's just the sheet music. Um, unfortunately, there's only four songs in the in the game right now. So... Uh, you don't need to take the other music memory here. It's similar to spells. You get them all with uh, your lute, which is your musical instrument. And we'll go over those four songs later. But, um, of course, you must take uh, one of the music memories to be able to use the song. So it's always required to have at least one for now. Because this is a new class, as you guys can tell, they don't have all the icons and skills worked out yet. But um, certainly more to follow up with this class of having a lot more to it. So... Next, we'll move into the stash here. So loot always uh, have to take this, obviously. This is how you play your songs. So you can even cast spells, similar to how, like, a cleric or mage always wants a staff or, uh, you know, the books, crystal ball. You need a loot in order to cast your songs. And then, uh, like I was saying before, there's a variety of weapons you can use. Flation is definitely one of the better ways to do it. Um, but if you're going to take that rapier skill I was talking about, then you certainly want to equip a rapier. So we could do that. Um... Getting into core build, you always want to be movement speed. You want to be fast. So um, I think overall, it's okay to have a little bit of armor and stuff if you want that. But similar to how we see uh, rogues play sometimes, you know, shirtless or naked, essentially, so they move faster. I think the bard can benefit from th that a lot, too, because you're never wanting to tank a lot of hits. You're always wanting to move quickly. You want to move fast. You want to get in and out. Um, so I would not be opposed to saying something like, uh, go ahead and drop off one of these pieces, whether you want to drop off your chest or your pants, just so you can, uh, get through the, the move speed a little faster is fine. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be trying to play, uh, just default loadout just so most players can get the, uh, the experience, same experience here. So yeah. Again, the build is all about moving quickly, getting in and out of situations. You don't want to be tanking hits. You're not a barbarian. You're not a fighter, not a cleric. You don't want to get hit. You want to move quickly. Not quite a rogue, but you have pretty good movement speed, interaction speed that we talked about before. So we're all about getting in and out fast. All right, guys. So now that we're in game here, I just wanted to briefly go over the music mechanics. So we hold E to bring out our uh, music schema. And when our loot is equipped, we can see the four different songs, only four in the game so far. Accelerando. Gradually increases the movement speed of you and your nearby allies for 8 seconds based on the performance of the song. So up to 15 move speed stacking 3 times. Got a Discord. Excites nearby NPCs to attack each other. Then we have Peacemaking, which uh, makes all players and monsters unable to attack you while playing the song. Tranquility. Gradually restores that recoverable health. So instead of having to press the G key to recover, Bard can play the song and that can, uh, if you play it perfectly... You can see at the bottom there, 24 HP over 12 seconds. So quickly just uh, showing you guys how the music mechanic works. If I right-click, right-clicking again, 
Every time you see that orange, you want that's when you want to right click again. That's when you're hitting the note at the perfect spot. The more yellowish spot is like playing it okay, but not perfectly. Of course, I'll show you if you just hit at the wrong time here, then you just mess up the song entirely. So you can just do that at any time, and it messes it up. Now, one skill mechanic I wanted to go over is sometimes, especially in team fights, you want to play the song incorrectly to cast it faster, because some of these songs take forever. So let's look at Chaotic Discord. As long as the first and last song is note are played correctly, the rest of them can be missed and you can cast it faster. So maybe it's not as strong, but casting faster sometimes has its own usefulness. So you, as you can see here, play perfectly, okay, whatever, 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 play perfectly. Oh, I guess it wasn't um, the first and last, but rather um, perhaps it's three. It depends on how many notes, but let's try that again. Play wrong, play wrong, play wrong, play right, play wrong, play right. Okay, so it looks like it's three, but this like effectively made me play this song twice as fast. And sometimes when you're in a pinch and you need to play a song well, or not well, but just quickly, it's okay to miss a few notes because it'll let you play the song faster. So that's all I'm showcasing here. So let's just say I play it perfectly slowly. It's fine. You can do it this way, but maybe that took me an extra second, second and a half to play this song. So that's all I'm showcasing here is like sometimes there's moments where like I intentionally want to mess up some notes there. Not as powerful a buff, but I got my song out fast, got my move speed, I'm getting out of here. So right here, we got a about. very good spawn. It's always excellent to be around a ton of golems in an open area, let you play your song well. And you don't even have to fight these guys, and you guys will see me showcase this here really well. It's a really good spawn here. A lot of these guys aggroed on each other, maybe? I think the issue is you have to initially, like, have them see you get aggroed before they want to really start fighting. There they go. Goblin Mage is down. Back up here. Well, should be five of them here. Or no. Nice thing is they're poisoning each other too. Cool. Nice. Really easy. Really nice. Cool. Your player below us. Trying to secure Chessa. Oh. Or oh. move speed here, I'll take that. Four players dead. Nice. I don't think we just song. <clears throat> These two don't want to get aggro. Oh, there they go. Other one will do it for me. Looks like they hit each other's shields. There we go. Hit each other. Oh, guys. Kill each other. There we go. Poison. Cool. You're a player nearby on my left. Need to get to those chests. Oh, 
nice, we got a dual wield though. Garbage. I mean, we'll take it. If we. Here are these back chest zones, not too far away, not where I'm really worried. Elton Champion killed somebody. Wow, a lot of dead bodies. Only three enemies left. Which means lots of loot for me. Nice blue hatchet. Right there. Uh, that's a hell pot, so I'll tank this for this bronze chest. Higher value chest here. Oh, well, fortunate. This one. That's a mimic. Yeah. I think I'll just move out here. I guess we'll just kill it. Didn't know the back of the mimic can't be hit when it's like that. Two players. That's solid. That's a barbarian. He's below me. Not too really worried about him if he's below me. He's definitely down there. Here I'm fighting. Oh, I just saw the kill feed up there. That uh, somebody died. Oh, more dead bodies here. Let's see what's going on. The thing is, if I go down there, I don't know how I get back up. Oh, cool. Job archer. Trying to get poisoned here. Oh. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to jump down here. I'll open it up just in case we have to jump down there, but for now let's like look if we find tools or something. Die real quick. Dodge that. Mm, blue gem, nice. I do see the escape tunnel on the left here. Could be that. If I need to. There was a player over here. I'm gonna top myself. Oh, I don't need to. In fact, I can just do this. There's the escape there. If I want to deal with clearing that with the circle closing. This chest, maybe. Anything useful there. Okay. 
I guess we could try to clear those gobs because we don't have any coming here. Overall, in its current state, I would say Bard is in a bit of a weird spot. You don't exactly feel like a support, but you don't exactly feel like a DPS, either like a rogue or anything like that. So I think Bard really excels in solos, as you guys see, just making NPCs fight. NPC manipulation is huge, and when you're in a group, it can kind of mess that up because uh, if your teammates get too close to your songs playing, then it'll affect them, and the monsters will attack them instead of each other. Um, ultimately, when you're in team fighting as a bard, it's kind of difficult to make a choice. Um, I say it's better off not playing songs in a team fight and instead going for pokey, stabby DPS. But um, bard makes a lot more sense in its current state in solos, where you can easily clear rooms, easily find loot, as you guys saw, and just kind of not have to lift a single finger. Even with your default loot, you can just go grub runs with your instrument, your loot here, and it's that easy. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Still, uh, fun to make, and uh, hopefully we see more uh, buffs and songs from Bard to make it more useful in the team aspect, because right now it's just not exactly there, but this class has a ton of potential with the boost speed, action speed, the rapier damage. Really fun class to play. Definitely recommend trying it. Thanks for watching.